we're joined by senior actress Ranjini, who is a WCC member. She also approached the High Court uh, against the publishing of the Hema Commission report, saying that she's somebody who had given the statement to Hema Committee and wanted to see if her right to privacy was respected. Uh, Ma'am, the Hema Committee report is finally out. There's been a lot of discussions. You're somebody who had given a statement to the committee. Mm -hmm. How do you look at all the discussions and how do you look at the report that, you know, finally that it's out here after five years? I'm very, very happy that the, finally the uh, report has been published. This is what I've been vo voicing, so is WCC as well. And because of them, the hard work of WCC, uh, they worked really hard, and they convinced the government to set up a hearing, which was constituted by the government under the name of Justice Hema Committee. So we have to applaud them for their hard work. And... Um, so as a uh, participant, I mean, as a member of WCC, I'm just a normal member. I'm not a founding member. I'm not an executive member. I'm just a mere member. So I was given the opportunity uh, to go to the hearing, which I took it because I thought it's high time that I should do something good for my sisters. Whatever I've gone through before, I think they should be protected right now when we have the opportunity. So I was the first person to go. Um, you've left the industry in the 90s after doing some of the big hits in during those times. You've given a statement, you've seen things that's happening inside the industry very closely. The report is out, how they have hidden certain parts, certain pages from the public domain. So do you think that what exactly happens is out or like is there more things that's been still dark hidden? I'm not bothered about what happened and what's not going to happen. Well, I'm very concerned that the report has been out without the consent of the participants who went there. We were, si we were made to sign. Uh, we were given a questionnaire before going to the hearing. Uh, we were given huge assurances that the privacy and confidentiality will be kept. And when we went to record our statements, when I say we, people like me, and individually there were so many of us who went there. So I have to say, I have to express my words as we. When we went there, after I say I recorded, because I went there as an on, on accord, as a particular person, Ranjani, I went there, and I recorded my personal statement, and uh, I was given a consent form to sign. So I was very happy about it. So whatever I've said uh, before the committee, it will be held in secrecy. And uh, that's the reason why. I was so, I didn't bother about it, these cases and stuff like that, because it has been arranged by WCC and they should have taken care of. I was, I was still having that thought that WCC is looking into it because they know they are the ones who, you know, who arranged uh, for this hearing. So therefore, they would, they would have asked for the report scrutinizing it before it get published. I'm not against uh, the report to be published. I, from the day one, I've been suggesting reports should be published and a proper redressal, like in the form of tribunals, should be set up. And that is what I found in the report, which I'm so happy about it. But the thing is, since um, the report is now out, I have seen certain incidences, though which, has been, which have been edited and it's anonymous, but there's one particular point. I mean, there are three particular points, but I don't want to comment because the other two relates to men. I'm not bothered about that. But over here, the WCC founding member, that version, that particular sentence, this is what I feared. And that is what happened. It has been breached. It has been violated. For this reason, that is the reason why I approached the, um, the court. That I, you know, as a participant, because I've given my consent, that should, we should be given an opportunity to check all the contents of the report before publishing. Whereas I wasn't given the chance, and it was so dramatically um, published without hearing my versions. When my case, when the court has directed me yesterday to approach the single bench, and I was given time until 3 o'clock, so which I've done, but I was given, I was not given the chance, but before that, the report is out.
But ma'am, uh, the government had earlier decided to release the report on August 17th. Yes. It was on August 16th evening that you you know, you approached the High Court. So there's a lot of allegation that, you know, uh, there's somebody behind you or like is it a genuine concern that you're raising because it was just a day before the government. Because July, in July, the government had already decided to uh, release the report as per the State Information Commission. What is your response to those allegations? Well, the allegations, I mean, people can identify right now I'm sure as a press, you know who were the petitioners. The people who went to the courts are third parties, including WCC as well. Because why I'm saying third parties, WCC is an organization. They cannot come like a second party because we went there as individual to record our statement. So as WCC has the, um, they should have been cautioned, they should have paid attention to the consent. They should be acting on behalf of the members. You know, they should be protecting our rights. But over here, it, it's, I, I only see it as a violation. We, we should have, you know, um, and also the Women Commission as well. I have to really point it out here. Because Women Commission supported uh, WCC's uh, petition. I, from the beginning, I want this petition to be, I mean, the uh, report to be out. It should be out. It must be out. That is what I want. I, my stand hasn't changed. From day one, I was requiring for a tribunal, and I was, I, I was requiring that this report should be out. And that's, that is what I'm still sticking on. But I was not given the chance to scrutinize it. If the court or if somebody would have given me a direction saying that, uh, say, an interim order has been set, then I would have, I got the time to scrutinize it before it went into the public. But right now, the public has got the access. And from that report, I just saw um, a sentence, I mean, uh, a paragraph uh, stressing WCC founding member. This is what I feared, and that is what it happened. A serious breach. Okay, but then what took you so long to approach the High Court? Because in July, there was already a direction to issue the report. I didn't, I didn't delay. The reason why I, I mean, I wasn't aware. I was thinking, I was relying on WCC. I thought they, and because the Women Commission joined them, right? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, okay, our rights would be protected. I didn't know about this until uh, a petition was set aside on the 13th of August. That's when alarm bells started coming to me, and that's what I approached the uh, bench. And the timing was so, you know, so bad because there was uh, Independence Day holiday and um, the judiciary was having a conclave on Friday. So uh, though it came to the court, but they couldn't hear me out. So they said, uh, Monday is the hearings. So it went. Anyway, they, you know, what to do? Um, just one last question. Uh, the HEMA committee report suggests an internal complaints committee for every movie producer or group and all. What are the other suggestions that you have that, you know, it's a long process now, there's been a lot of discussion that's going to take place and all that? From the beginning, I was against ICC. Because it's, ICC will only work in the corporate world. It will not work in the, in the, uh, in the entertainment industry. Because first of all, you know, uh, location changes. Because we are not confined to a particular pers uh, place. We have to move. So don't tell me that when we have 10 locations, we have to have ICC on 10 locations. So that's uh, something crazy. Another thing is in a year, maybe 300 to 500, I'm talking about movies plus serials and whatever shoots we are going to entertain. Do you think that it's applicable for everyone to have ICC? Isn't that strange? So the, why not ask for the tribunal, entertainment tribunal? That is what from the beginning I have been uh, fighting for ever since uh, an actress attack. I was the first person to raise that as well. I said we are looking, on, we should be asking for tribunal, not ICC. So tribunal is the only place, especially uh, without the interference of media. Because I myself faced it. When I approached the normal court, I was hounded by the paparazzi, you know, and false allegations were made over the uh, media, which is very, you know, um, <laughs> it was very distressing. But as a strong woman, I didn't bother. 
But just imagine somebody who's weak, who, who do not have the courage like me. They would have committed suicide, right? So that is what my, prime, my paramount concern is privacy. If you say no, let it be no. But when we said no to, not to, I mean, not to publish, because Justice Hema promised us that, but when it came out in the public, I do not know what to say. Thank you, and thank well, you so much.